uh, traffic in our community is, is very, very intense. The traffic jam, you know, in recent years has become uh, a nightmare. People who live and work in California's San Gabriel Valley hear the beat of the nation's economic pulse daily. Millions of imports and American exports thunder by on trains coming to and from the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Together, they handle 40% of all containerized freight in the United States. As more and more of this freight comes through here, which is good for the economy of the U.S., it impacts our residents, it impacts our businesses. The Alameda Corridor East Construction Authority is known locally as the ACE Project. Its goals include improving the quality of life for two million residents along two 35-mile rail corridors, which cut through the San Gabriel Valley en route to the rest of the country. You may be aware that we're going to have 100 million net new people in this country by 2050, and that we're going to need to move 14 billion more tons of freight around this country within that same time frame. Container volumes and train traffic are expected to surge significantly in the coming years. By 2025, freight train counts are projected to increase to more than 125 per day in the San Gabriel Valley. With the increasing amount of rail traffic coming out of the ports, we're seeing more and more vehicular congestion at places like what you see behind me. And the ACE project, through a coalition of all the cities in the San Gabriel Valley, is going forward with projects to mitigate this activity. The local, the state, the federal have all come together recognizing that the quality of life here is affected if we don't have a solution. And without long lines of idling cars, air quality is bound to improve. 200 tons of, of toxins come out of those vehicles while they idle. Traffic is congested at times, uh, in fact, at often times. Uh, in fact, while I was one time waiting at a railroad crossing, I counted 104 cars. They were double-decked. There would have been over two miles of truck traffic bumper to bumper if, in fact, those were on the freeway as opposed to the rail crossing. The ACE project is separating rail and vehicular traffic with bridges or underpasses at 20 of the busiest crossings. One of the largest is the San Gabriel Trench, which includes four bridges and calls for lowering a 1.4 mile section of track into a 30 foot deep trench. So all of the congestion, all of the traffic, all of the wait times that you're experiencing today are only gonna get worse if we don't make investments right now. Before work began on the San Gabriel Trench, archaeologists were called in to recover and preserve historical artifacts from the San Gabriel Mission. When construction started, ACE not only uh, kept San Gabriel informed, but kept the Historical Association informed. We had the educational, the archaeological dig, and how many students were able to come and observe. And not just the students, but we had so many uh, adults that wanted to know what was going on. The historic Chapman's Mill Race was also moved to a new location and put on permanent display, showing a respect for the past while planning for the future. By the year 2025, rail traffic is expected to grow by 122%. Since traffic is also increasing, studies show that without the ACE project, traffic delays would have more than doubled by 2025. But the real deal is this is an artery to our communities. It's what allows these students to get to their high school. It's what allows our moms and dads to get to work or the emergency vehicles to get to you when you're having a heart attack or a health emergency. The only hospital in San Gabriel is north of the tracks. So if you're someone south of the tracks that's stuck in a vehicle waiting to get to the hospital just because a train is going by and an extra long train, we must think of that too. Work is also underway on grade separation projects at Puente and Fairway Avenues and at Nogales Street. The projects promise to reduce traffic delays and eliminate potentially deadly crossing collisions. This will better the lives of everybody and will help business, will help the uh, environment, the pollution, all of it is for the benefit of this whole area. In addition to grade separation projects, the ACE Construction Authority has or will improve crossing safety at more than 40 at-grade crossings, including better signals and new vehicle and pedestrian gates to prevent cars, trucks, cyclists, and pedestrians from getting hit by trains.
if we want to increase the amount of trains that are going through the San Gabriel Valley, we owe it to our residents to make sure that we reduce the congestion and that we make the area safer for our residents. So far, the ACE project has completed safety improvements at nearly 40 grade crossings, and 17 grade separations have been completed, are under construction, or will begin in a few years. Three are in the design stage. It's going to be a win-win situation, uh, not just for the residents, but uh, for business people as well, uh, and also for the surrounding communities to come to Roland Heights and uh, to support the business here. It's all going to be a good uh, end result for everybody. 对我们社区市场是一个很好的一个帮助，所以呢，呃，我是呃非常支持这项计划。那也希望呢，大家可以就是说，呃，我们一起度过呃他们这个呃改建的这个计划这段时间呢。The ACE project is one of the region's largest transportation undertakings in the last two decades. It has brought together local communities, the state and federal governments, and has set an example of how to solve current problems and plan for the future. We have accomplished so much more than we ever would have as individual cities and individual projects. That United theme has really developed a core expertise here to where when you look across the region of Los Angeles County, the Alameda Corridor East has the template on great separations, how to do them effectively, how to do them on time and on budget. While the ACE board and staff seek funding for the rest of the grade separations, the results of the ACE project to date demonstrate its benefits. Safer and more reliable travel for trains, cars, cyclists, and pedestrians. Emergency vehicles will have better access and there will be cleaner air for everyone. With the nation now talking extensively about goods movement and the importance of goods movement, we are standing on ground zero relative to that. All I could think about is the end result. Not waiting for a train again. I've been in this city 50 years. I just can't even fathom not waiting for a train again.